Hi, this video is going to tell you how to set up your blog for our class. So this is the first time you set up your blog, not every time you create a post. This is just the very first time we create our blogging website. So first from our Moodle page, I'm going to visit wordpress.com. It's right here under how to's. So wordpress.com. And WordPress is a site that hosts blogs. Blogs are, it's short for web log. It's like an online journal. Anything you post to your online web log will be visible, not just to your classmates and me, but also to anybody who can access the web. So keep that in mind when you're writing posts up here. Uh, WordPress does a lot of hosting for free. It's also a more powerful software, so if you really get into blogging later, you can buy stuff from them. But for right now, we're just interested in what we can do for free. So at WordPress.com, I'm going to click on the orange Get Started button. And it's going to ask me for an email address that I actually use. So there's my email and my username. And of course, we want to create a secure password so no one else can get into the blog. Uh, your username and your email address are what you're going to use to log into the site and they're also what you're going to use to um, just find your way to your blog often so make sure there are two things you can remember make sure it's an email address you actually use and you won't get all these red messages because you won't have signed up already this is uh, you'll get happy green check marks instead now down here the blog address this is where I'm actually going to find your blog online. So whatever you type here, .wordpress.com will be where I see your blog. Um, if you get a happy green check mark, that means you're good to go. If, however, it tells you with a big red X like that, somebody else already has that blog address, then you can just add numbers to the end of your name or another initial. Whatever you want to call your WordPress site is fine doesn't have to be your name you know it can be if you like cats a lot you can be I love cats a lot dot wordpress dot com that's fine for our purposes it can be named anything you'd like as long as it's you know decent and not too hard to remember once you've created that address then scroll down here we are interested in the free column and it's going to say create a blog yours will be lit up because you're creating a new blog. Uh, once you click on that, then you're going to see a couple of screens. The first screen is going to tell you that they've sent an activation email to your email account. And you will need to check your email, and you should find within about five minutes. Sometimes it takes a little longer, but usually about five minutes, there will be an email message from WordPress.com. It's just going to ask you to click on a link in the message when you do that, it's going to take you back to WordPress, and you should see about three screens in a row. The first one is going to ask you to uh, set up a name or a title for your blog, and you can call it anything you'd like. You can leave it with what it is automatically, which will probably be your name or whatever you've created the name of the site for. Uh, the second line is going to ask you about a subtitle. You can leave that as it is or create something catchy if you want. Um, and then the third line is going to ask you what language you want your blog in. Please select English for that one. Then you'll hit the next button at the bottom of the screen. It's going to ask you then about themes. And themes are just the way that your blog displays on the page. So it's going to show you some examples that will look like these. Just pick something that looks nice to you, but you'll notice some of them have price tags on them and some of them are free. Uh, please suggest, I, I highly recommend you choose the free ones. I'm not at all asking you to spend any money on this blog, so I'm going to pick this one. Looks nice and free, which is my favorite. Uh, flavor for a blog. And then once you've selected your theme, you'll click next at the bottom. Click next straight through the page. It asks if you want to customize because we don't want to mess with that right now. And then it will say finish. 
and you'll see a screen that looks like this with a little block down at the bottom that says finish. If you click finish, it'll take you to a screen that looks a lot like this, um, except it's probably going to be blank up here to start with. This is the opening screen you're going to see most of the time when you log into WordPress, and whenever you get lost, you can always find the screen by clicking on the circle and the W up in the top left corner. From here, you can always write a new post by going over to New Post. And when you click on New Post, it gives you this screen. Usually what you're going to want to click is Text, because we want to write. And then to create a new post, you just create a title here which usually is going to be whatever the assignment is that you're responding to. And then down here in the larger box is where you actually write your response. This is pretty similar to an email, so think of this as your subject line and this as the message itself. Write whatever it is that I've asked you to write and usually I'll tell you a number of words and you'll write them in here. When you're done you can hit preview to see what it will look like when it actually publishes to your blog. And you have to enable pop-ups for that to work. So here's what it would look like. This is the title of my blog, this is the subtitle, here's the title of my post, and then here's the actual words I typed. Looks fine to me. So if I want to publish this, I hit the blue publish post button and then it becomes live online. And Anybody can see it, my classmates, my teacher, anybody. If you're not sure about it yet, you can always save the post as a draft. And then when you come back to WordPress, it'll be waiting for you. You just go to My Blogs. You click on the name of your blog here. Um, and you can see everything that you've posted. And anyone, any of your followers or friends from class that way too. Alright, so that's how you set up your blog. You get your first post going. Um, when you're done with your blog, you just sign out by hovering over the little person all the way at the top right and then going down to sign out. Um, before you do that, the one last thing you need to do is add all of your classmates as followers, or I'm sorry, you need to follow all of your classmates. And to do that, don't log out of WordPress yet. Leave WordPress open. Go back to our Moodle page. And scrolling all the way down, you'll see a list of everybody in class. Over on the right side, you're just going to click on each blog name. And up at the top, next to their name, you'll see a little arrow, the plus sign and follow. You click that and then you're following them. Do that for every person in class. Click follow. And very soon when you log into WordPress, the first thing you'll see will be excerpts of everybody you're following. So you can just scroll through, find a classmate's post, and visit it to read more. Okay. So your last step to do before you're all done with this today is once you've created a blog, please email me or send me via Moodle message the address to your new blog. So you can find that by going to My Blogs, click on the name of your blog to visit it, and then this is the address up here in the address bar. Just highlight that, copy it, and send me that address in an email so I know where to find your blog. If you have any questions along the way, just let me know send me an email or a message, and happy blogging!